In this video, we will learn about hybridized atomic orbitals and how they're formed. We have already learned about atomic and molecular orbitals, but sometimes atomic orbitals need to experience a change before turning into molecular orbitals. Let's explore this idea. Hybridization is the combination of two or more atomic orbitals of the same atom to form new hybrid atomic orbitals, orbitals that are still atomic in nature, as they're on a single atom, but with new shapes. The number of atomic orbitals that are combined to form the hybrid orbitals depends on the steric number of the central atom, the number of things, atoms, or lone pairs around the central atom. What is the steric number of the carbon and methane? That's right, the central atom in methane, carbon, has four hydrogens attached to it and no lone pairs, which means its steric number is four. For central atoms with a steric number of four, Four atomic orbitals combine to form four hybrid orbitals. The number of hybrid orbitals that are made will always be equal to the steric number of the central atom. Since carbon's valence shell is comprised of 1, 2s, and 3, 2p orbitals, it's these four valence orbitals that combine to form four hybrid atomic orbitals. Notice when the hydrogen atoms are far away from the carbon atom, the carbon atom's valence orbitals are 2s and the 3, 2p orbitals. But as the hydrogens get close to the carbon, these four valence atomic orbitals mix together to form new hybrid orbitals. We call these hybrid atomic orbitals sp3 because they're made from the mixing of 1s orbital and 3p orbitals. Let's try another one. What is the steric number of boron trifluoride? Exactly. The central atom, boron, has three fluorines attached to it and no lone pairs, so its steric number is 3. When the fluorine atoms are far away from the boron, the boron's valence orbitals are just the same atomic orbitals, 1, 2, s orbital, and 3, 2, p orbitals. As the fluorines get closer, hybrid atomic orbitals will form. How many hybrid orbitals will form on the fluorine? That's right. Since the boron and boron trifluoride is steric number 3, three hybrid orbitals will form. What is the name of the hybridized atomic orbitals that are made on the boron and BF3? That's right, since the boron has steric number 3, we'll need 3 atomic orbitals. So we'll combine the 3 lowest energy valence orbitals, 1 s orbital and 2 p orbitals, to form 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals. Notice that in this case, one of the p orbitals remains unhybridized. In our methane example, we used all our 3 p orbitals, so we had no unhybridized p orbitals remaining. Let's watch this happen in real time. Notice that when the fluorine atoms are far away from the boron atom, the boron atom's valence orbitals are 2s and the 3 2p orbitals. But as the fluorines get close to the boron, these three valence atomic orbitals mix together to form new hybrid s2p orbitals and there's one unhybridized p orbital remaining. Also, notice each of the fluorine's valence orbitals have hybridized as well, and they've hybridized to match the hybridization of the central boron atom. Each fluorine had 1, 2 s and 3, 2 p valence orbitals to start, but now each fluorine has three hybrid sp2 orbitals and one unhybridized p orbital. This is always what happens. The terminal atoms will hybridize to match the central atom. Well, almost always. The terminal atoms will hybridize their valence orbitals to match the central atom if they can. But hydrogen's valence shell is n equals 1 so its only valence orbital is 1s. So the hydrogens and methane cannot hybridize and remain 1s orbitals. Let's explore one last example. What is the steric number of NH3? The Lewis structure for ammonia has three single bonds between the nitrogen and the three hydrogens, and it also has one lone pair. That makes the steric number of ammonia 4. What hybrid orbitals will form on the nitrogen and ammonia? Since the nitrogen atom's steric number is 4, nitrogen forms sp3 hybrid orbitals. Lastly, how many unhybridized p orbitals does NH3 have? There are no unhybridized p orbitals in NH3, since all three of the nitrogen's p orbitals were combined to form the four sp3 orbitals. What hybrid orbitals will form on the hydrogen atoms in ammonia? Since hydrogen's valence shell is n equals 1, 
Hydrogen can't hybridize and will remain 1s. If, however, we were looking at the nitrogen trichloride molecule, the nitrogen would hybridize sp3, and so would all three of the chlorines. In the next video, we'll see how the hybrid orbitals combine to make molecular orbitals.